Our next innovator is bringing us a consumer device that is going to allow us to know more about our physical world than we ever have before. Please welcome Dror Sharon of Sayo. Hi, Brian. Welcome to APEC, Dror. Thank you very much. Okay, so what is the mission of Sayo? So uh, we believe that uh, while the technology at our fingertips is amazingly powerful, can let you navigate anywhere in the world, book that favorite restaurant in Washington tonight, or you know, if you hear a tune on the radio, let you instantly know which one to order on iTunes. When it comes to the actual physical stuff around us, if you're not sure, just don't know, well, you're totally on your own, and we wanted to solve that problem. Okay, so how does, how does it work? How is how's my phone going to tell me all that? Well, so we invented Sayo, which is this little device, and it's the world's first uh, pocketable molecular sensor. All right, you lost me at molecular. What, is, what, <laughs> what does it do? So this scans the molecular fingerprints of materials. It sends it to our cloud for analysis and sends the result instantly to your smartphone. So you're, you're bouncing light off of things? Right, so we took the science of spectroscopy, which is light matter interaction, that is used in labs across the world thousands of times a day in industries such as pharmaceuticals, food, petrochemicals, cosmetic healthcare, miniaturize it and made it accessible to all of us. All right, let's see it work. Let's come sure. over here. And uh, we have here apples. Yeah. So we're going to take this device. So you're bouncing light off of an yep, apple. Point it at the apple. And then, as you can see, Put it, put, let's put uh, George's phone up there. Yep, so it's analyzing, send it to the cloud for analysis. And okay. as you so can see, this is about 30 calories per 100 grams, or about, uh, what did it say? Yep, 30 calories. So let's now do the red one. And, and um, Okay, I'll do the red one. And this is instantaneously in real time. Okay. So now, again, it's analyzing. And this is 50% sweeter. So actually, there are more calories in this apple. And in real time, you could actually go to the supermarket. If you're on a diet, you can actually know what you're intaking into your body right now. And you can do it with smoothies, other things as well? Yep, definitely. Any type of food that we're going to have in our database. What else can you show me? Well, so we're going to have this little light box. And we are going to take out two pills. Both of them contain the same active pharmaceutical ingredient. OK. We're going to drop the pill in here. Put the SIO in there. And it's communicating by Bluetooth with the Exactly. Your phone. It takes it on, okay. and then it analyzes it, and we're going to see what pill we, I dropped right now into the light box. So it analyzes it, sends it to the cloud for analysis, and let's see. Looks like you're froze there. No. One oh, second. No, so while we're doing this, so this is, for example, Advil. So this, this is, is a brand name Advil. Yeah, so this is brand name Advil. So in real time, we're able to analyze the chemical properties of this specific pill that we just bought at CVS. Let's take another one. Okay. Okay, so, you know, sometimes you get the non-branded, you know, the generic ones. You want to save a buck, right? So let's see if this is really the one. So we're going to press a button. Okay. Analyzes it in real time. And, yep, this is, this is generic. a generic one that we just got at Walmart. So this little device can tell you what's inside the physical world around you that you otherwise wouldn't be able to tell. So obviously, if I have ibuprofen in a bottle, I'm, I may know. But what yeah. if a woman goes to a bar and scans her drink that someone brings her? So currently, we don't have it in the database. We can envision a future where she would go to the bar, scan that drink, and it will give her a big alert. Hey, watch out. This one is not for so you. So every time someone scans something, you're collecting these fingerprints, and you're building Correct. a physical database of the world. Correct. We're on a mission to build the world's largest database of fingerprints of our physical world, basically building Google for your physical world in real time. And how much will this retail for? So right now you can buy it for $250 online on our store at consumerphysics.com. We're going to deliver it in a few months. And uh, w it, it, where did the idea even come from? Well, so you know, these big devices cost $20,000, right? And when you're in Israel, we've got a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. And you watch that fruit and vegetable, you know you're going to eat it in about a minute or two. And you think to yourself, what if I could know more about this? How can I do it? So this is where it came about. We said, OK, let's solve this problem. 
And why did this, why you, why did this come up in Israel, not somewhere else in the world? Well, I think Israel is uniquely, um, in, in our case, uniquely suited to solve these type of multidisciplinary problems. In that sense, we're enjoying the diseconomies of scale, which means we enjoy the fact that Israel is a very small country. The smallness of the country. Yeah, right? yeah. So just give me very briefly, what, what's next for SAO? Where does it go? So with us, we think of taking this little sensor that's embedded right there, and we're going to take it into every smartphone, wearable device, an internet-connected device, anywhere in your home and in businesses, anywhere where molecular sensing makes sense. So this will be embedded in my phone. I can read my food and test things out in the coming future. Ten years from now, my daughter will not even think twice about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Dror Sharon and Sayo. Thanks, Thanks Ron.